basically TMZ had reported that there are two plaintiffs in this case, a young lady by the name of April Lopez and another young lady by the name of Kiera McGillen. They are basically alleging that there was they was driving on the highway back in November of 2022, back in Little Rock, California, when the James LeBron and Bronny slammed into him. Now, I never heard anything about LeBron and, and, and Bronny getting into any type of car accident. So this is really new to me. Let me pull up the article so we can kind of check this thing out together. But let me see if I can pull this up so you guys can see um, exactly what I'm looking at. I was trying to pull up this article so y'all could actually check it out. But like I said before, I never heard of any. Um, is this it? OK, I just had it. I never heard of, of of those two being in any accident. You know, there was no injuries reported as far as Bronny James and, and LeBron go. So this story to me, Lake of Land, is weird as hell. But right here, it says, as Lopez and Gillis stated in the documents that they sustained injuries that will require further medical attention. They also claim the car that they were driving was damaged and has lost value due to its wreck. Mind you, this car accident happened two years ago. Two years ago. They just filed these court papers on Tuesday. Um, same same day as opening night. Is that ironic? You know, for, for LeBron and, and Bronny, you know they was going to make history. Do y'all think that that was a coincidence that these two young ladies filed this claim on the same day? And again, this accident happened almost two years ago. And in their claim, they're talking about, you know, they sustain types of injuries that's going to require further medical attention. I don't want to call these two young women a liar. I'm just like, why would if you have been injured due to LeBron's James negligence for two years, why would you wait to now? I mean, I don't understand whatever injury you've had that's going to continue to require further medical attention after two years must be something really serious. So I, I'm tweaking right now, just wondering why, why they are holding this back. Why have they held this back? You know, LeBron is the breadwinner. If they were chasing money or chasing clout, they didn't have to wait for Bronny to get drafted. I mean, maybe they maybe if it was a strategy, then maybe you know someone can paint the, the bigger picture to me. But I'm just feeling like LeBron is the breadwinner. If you guys wanted some money, we could have been we could have been tackled this story. Now they're suing the two NBA uh LeBron and Bronny for unspecified damages. Uh this is kind of crazy to me, Lakers Land. Um, um just looking at this article, it says, while there is very little information available on this situation, um, it certainly comes to a surprise that the elder and younger LeBron James are involved in a legal matter. That's a fact. I never knew anything about no car accident. How, how did that get under the radar? What happened to the car? You know, LeBron and them drive foreign cars. So what I don't I'm, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. And I don't want to call these women a liar. But this just to me and we've seen all these stories of all this old stuff coming back to, to bite celebrities and athletes and entertainers in behind. This one right here, Lakers land is kind of weird as hell to me. One can only hope that everyone involved in this alleged accident is doing better now. Nearly two years after the crash, while plaintiffs allegedly suffered injuries, the elder and younger James were seemingly either uninjured facts or weren't hurt badly enough for the basketball world to catch on. But this is LeBron James here. The guy who got the biggest haters. So if there was an accident with LeBron and his son involved two years ago. Mm, I don't know about this Lakers land. I, I I really don't. This was wild to me. Mm. For all the latest news and debates on the Los Angeles Lakers, be sure to subscribe here to the Lakers Land platform with Seven, Mitchell, B.A., and Hank. Also, don't forget to check out our playback room. 
for our free VIP watch parties to all our Lakers games and, of course, the live Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakersland.